Today we're reprofiling peat hags here at Loch Fasgrove. A peat hag is an area of exposed peat when the surrounding peat has been washed away, generally by wind, rain action or the freeze thaw. And we're covering up the exposed peat. The machine operator, he's lifting the tuff and he's creating an angle of between 30 to 45 degrees. And then he's covering up the exposed peat with the surrounding tuff and that will stop further erosion. When the peatland's exposed to the elements, it does dry out and it will erode into the reservoir and we then have to remove it during the treatment process and the water treatment works. We're, we're currently working on two sites. This one is Loch Fasgrove, which feeds uh, West Lewis Water Treatment Works. We have another site, Loch Orissey, which is just south of Stornoway. We've got peatland restoration proposed. We did have active peat cutting banks, which involved a lengthy consultation process with the, the local grazing committee. We explained the issues we were having in the treatment process. So the peat cutters were offered alternative banks out with um, you know, Scottish Water's drinking water catchment area. We were very keen to work with them, find alternative solutions beneficial to everyone. When Scottish Water explained to us exactly what they were wanting to do and how they were trying to do it, we had decided that we would like to take the opportunity to move forward with them to see what we could do to try and improve water quality because it's what we get and if it reduces the cost and reduces the amount of dirty runoff, it costs them less to produce the water that we drink. When we cut the peat, you're left with this bare land part of it. And if you have running water running off, the silt of that will then make its way through the water course naturally. It's been there, it's been part of our life for my lifetime and the generations before me as well. You went out with your neighbour and your neighbour came out with you. And regardless of how many were in the household, everybody in the household was involved. In addition to reprofiling the peat hags, we've also been installing peat buns on this site. Here we have an example of uh, a peat bund that was put in uh, in the last couple of days. You can see the, the water actually forming at the back of it. We already have some sphagnum moss in there. A bund is designed just to slow down the flow of water to stop the erosion of peat. It has created this pool at the back here. Before this bund was put in place, this water would just have been flowing all the way down to the reservoir. These will raise the water table, which in turn will create ideal conditions for peat to form, which in turn will capture and hold carbon out of the atmosphere.